Okay, we are back live again. I apologize for missing yesterday. I just kind of fell asleep. It's been so hard for me to run in the morning. I made a video a couple days ago about putting fitness first and getting your work in first thing in the morning in two days into February and I'm 0 for 2, right? Both days of February so far I had to do night runs and I prefer to do morning runs. I want to be a morning runner, but it is so hard to wake up in the morning. Even for someone like myself who has run for more than 1,390 days in a row now, it's still so hard for me to wake up in the morning and go for a run. But no excuses, we have to figure out a way to do it. Right now, it is technically February 3rd. It's 12.51 a.m. on the East Coast, right? And tomorrow is the U.S. Marathon Olympic Trials. And I will be headed down to Orlando to watch the race. I actually have a flight to catch in about four hours. So I'm going to try to get like three hours of sleep and then head over to the airport. I'm literally flying down to Orlando and coming back to Ohio in the same day. Like I've never done that before. So this will be a first for me. I hope and pray the flight runs on time. Nothing would be worse than flying down there and missing the trials. So really looking forward to going down there. I mean, this is like the Super Bowl for American distance running. It's for a spot in the Paris Olympics. How cool is that? There, you know, you have the old favorites like Galen Rupp. You have the new favorites like Connor Mance and Clayton Young. You kind of have the mystery like Paul Chalamo. You have a uh, Fable, you know, who's been there a lot. You have CJ Albertson. Uh, you have Career. You know, there's so many people on the men's side. On the women's side, I think you have uh, Sisson, who is probably the favorite. You have Kira D'Amato, who I'll be rooting for. Um, also, you have a, a up and comer, Gabby Rooker. I'll be rooting for her as well. Sarah Hall is looking to make her first team. We'll definitely be looking for her and rooting her on to make the team. We've had some unfortunate people have to drop out. But hey, it's all about getting to the line healthy. That's what it's all about. But tomorrow, Saturday, is the U.S. Marathon Olympic Trials. It will be on Peacock at 10 a.m. It'll be on NBC at 12 noon. I will definitely try to go live on my page at Stretch Murphy to show you some of the things that I'm seeing. So please tap in there if you can. Um, it's going to be amazing experience if you are down in Orlando. It's been like a party down there so far. It's been just like a blast, all the events and everything happening. I'm really just going there to be a fan of the race. I'm really just going there to be a fan of the racing. At the core, I just really love this sport and I'm a huge fan. So I'm just looking for a great and awesome race. Really want to see some, some men and women just lay it on the line there to really try to make the Olympic team. And I'm looking to get a lot of inspiration from all of the runners that I see out there. People that will be competing in the trials and people that I'll just run into there who are also fans of the sport or who may be aspiring to be there in 2028. Wink, wink. But really looking forward to that. Um, and again, it is so hard to run in the morning. It's just so hard for me personally to wake up but that is my goal for 2024, to really become a true morning runner and join the 5 a.m. club. Also, again, it is Black History Month. Please check out my page right now. I'm recapping the 
running for civil rights exhibit um, that commemorated the New York Pioneers Club, Mr. Yancey and Mr. Corbett uh, with the New York Roadrunners. That's at the New York Historical Society. I had the chance to visit there in November. Had the absolute honor to be a guest of Mr. Gary Corbett. Wow, that was just an amazing experience. One of the best of my life. Totally unexpected, like didn't even get any pictures with Mr. Gary Corbett, unfortunately. But if you were there, you know, he knows, I know, and my family knows. So that will live on forever in my heart, forever indebted to him for that experience and that opportunity. He is an amazing historian. I learned so much for, from him. He has researched and researched and researched the history of long distance running from black Americans. Black Americans have a long and storied history in long distance running. Um, and that's something he has shed a lot of light on. And I really want to help him carry on that legacy and share with the up and comers, share with everyone, right? How many runners of color there were in the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s and beyond, right? Because we don't see a lot of American born distance runners, marathoners of color. But Ted Corbett was essentially the founding father of the New York City Marathon and the New York Roadrunners Association. He's the one that introduced the concept of having the marathon go through all five boroughs of New York City. So huge shout out to everyone that's went to see that exhibit. I would love to go back, unfortunately, the exhibit will be closing or shutting down there at the New York Historical Society on February 25th. So you have most of February, about 20 days to get over there and see that. Mr. Ted Corbett was also an Olympian. He represented the United States in the marathon at the 1952 Olympic Games. So I'm so excited to get out to Orlando and see who will represent the United States at the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. Tell me, who are your picks? Who do you think will win? On the men's side, I will be rooting for Galen Rupp. I really hope Galen Rupp can pull it out and make his fifth Olympic team. I'll also be rooting for Paul Chalamo. He's making his marathon debut. He is a medalist and the 5,000 meters, a world medalist, I believe a two-time medalist. But this is his first experience at the marathon. That is a beast, but I have a lot of faith in him and I'll be rooting for him. And then that third one, I don't know, maybe Clayton Young, maybe Scott Fauble, maybe Connor Mance. But who I'll truly be rooting for is Nathan Martin. I would absolutely love to see Mr. Martin make it in an underdog story. That would be amazing. But nonetheless, really just looking for an awesome, awesome race. If you're out in Orlando, please come say hi to me.